Hey guys, Dan Greer coming at you from the San Juan Mountains. Here behind me we have, a, it's called a geyser is what it is. It's a sulfur geyser. And um, you can see it kind of bubbling now. It didn't shoot much, but it did get way more action in it. So it was it was bubbling a lot more. And it, said it, it does that about every 30 to 45 minutes pretty regularly. Bubbles have been dying down. Anyways, just wanted to uh, take a second because you can also hear a creek running. That's fresh water. This is sulfur water. Kind of Kind of nuts, isn't it? But anyways, just wanted to take just a few seconds to kind of point out that, that you can be right beside something else and not even know that it's there. Like, you can coexist beside somebody that maybe you don't agree with. And in today's world, we're really struggling with some of that stuff, especially here in the United States. Um, coexisting isn't the right word. I don't necessarily love that word, but living side by side with somebody that we don't necessarily agree with. And so I just want to take a second today and, and point this out and just show some of God's phenomenon, what he's created. And... and and it's amazing to me that, again, fresh water is so clear that you could probably drink sulfur water that you don't even really want to get in because it smells like rotten eggs. But run right beside each other, nothing but one little rock wall separating them. And then the, the sulfur has actually been, it's sealed itself so that it can't leak into the other one. And so just want to encourage everybody to know that you you can coexist. You can, you can be side by side with people that you don't agree with, and it's all good. Don't worry about it. All right, hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.